This is the 10 o'clock news on UPN 11. In downtown Seattle, a holiday event with the exact opposite result. Thousands watched downtown light up with the 1997 holiday season. Thousands joined voices at Westlake Center to light the annual Christmas tree. 10,000 lights will shine down on shoppers throughout the season. And in case you were wondering, the tree is a noble fir standing more than 60 feet tall. Now, Westlake Mall was packed for that event as it was for the big event of the morning for the Bon Marche Holiday Parade. Thousands lined 4th Avenue to catch a glimpse of the elaborate balloon floats and many marching bands. And just hours ago, crowds began flocking to two major events in town, the Sonics game and, as you see right here, fans waiting to get into the kingdom for the much-anticipated Rolling Stones concert. Now, speaking of the Stones, tonight they rock the dome for the third and last time. And tens of thousands, as we just showed you, bridge the traffic and parking problems to get to the Bridges of Babylon tour. Meg O'Connor is one of them and is live at the Kingdom right now. Meg? Well, Kevin, standing in front of the dome, we thought we might hear some of the booming bass tones coming out of the Kingdom, but maybe in their old age they decided to turn the volume down a little bit. We haven't heard much at all. The crowd is already in there, and at 9.05 the Stones took the stage, and they were ready to satisfy this crowd. This is a rock and roll pilgrimage thousands here have made before. 1964, I was at the Stones concert in Montreal at the Forum. That makes you how Their old? first North American tour. Yeah. That makes her 47 and in good company with other boomers who have grown up and grown old with the Rolling Stones. Because the Stones are the best. Jagger, Keith Richards, man, he's just kind of still alive. This is an intergenerational event and that's just fine with the youngest Stones fans. Like, Why not? <laughs> Go out and have some fun. Yeah. They need to get out and get loose sometimes. But there were limitations on that. Fans were subjected to a pat-down search before entering the kingdom. Items not allowed include weapons, illegal drugs, packages, fireworks. The fireworks will be left to Keith Richards and Mick Jagger. The 40,000 or so others will have to try to contain themselves to being spectators. And it won't be easy. I know it's only rock and roll, but I like it, like it. Yes, I do. Jumping Jack Flash! You make a grown man cry. You come running back. Yeah, yeah. like I told you once before, baby. I can't get no. Yeah, that's, that's my favorite part. So what a show it was, and before they took to the stage, Mick Jagger joked about this being the last time that they will play in the Kingdom. He asked if hereafter it will be called the Paul Allen Dome. All right, thank you, Meg O'Connor. And never mind that he was probably 30 years old uh, when you were born. Not a, not a problem. <laughs> All right, thanks, Meg, reporting live tonight at the Kingdom. The Rolling Stones have played the Kingdom twice before in 1981 and in 1994. Well, we want to talk to Neil Barton now about the weather. but. I